Take your time, young man. Mama used to say, don't you rush to get old. Hey, got my hair done, boy. Check out my swag. Hey, today gonna be another great day. Today gonna be a great day. We like to start each video out by saying today gonna be a great day. Sending peace, love, good energy to you guys who are there watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, you're new to it, please subscribe. Please like, please share a comment, a kind word. It will really make our day. And that same energy will come back to you today. But the topic is going to be talking about prescription medication or street medication. As you know, a lot of people are overdosing and dying from these pills, these fake pills. People are overdosing and dying off of prescribed pills from their own wishes or, you know, unintentionally or intentionally. So we just want to send out a good message something positive something to help to make you guys think because someone may have one in their hand right now that isn't prescribed it not saying that you can't you know overdose from prescription medication or get hurt but with these fake m30s going around these fake xanax bars going around and then people are mixing them with all kind of alcohol, beers, coke, weed, all kind of drugs. Um, you know, heroin right now, you have to really be careful. So this video is from my past experience, some of my past experiences with Xanax. I just want to share this with you guys, man, that I take... I think 0 0.5 milligrams of a Prozolam, the, the pink one, but street named Xanax for my anxiety panic attacks. I don't try to take them every day, but some days I have to take, sometimes I have to take them every day, you know, because my, you know, because my, my thoughts, my anxiety be just that bad. And then sometimes I can skip a day, but you don't want to get to the point where you have to take them every day. The Xanax... It's prescribed to be short term, a short term solution only. It's not meant to be long term. That's why the withdrawals be so bad. So I tell you guys out there, especially you young people, man, if you just out here trying to experience something, be cool, and you mess around and you start taking these pills and you mess around and get hooked on them, the freaking withdrawals are gonna be really, really, you know, really, really intense, really serious, especially if they're not authentic pills now instead of the actual drug now you have whatever other chemical in that pill that you are addicted to that can be more powerful than the actual drug so I want you guys to think about that another thing also that you got to worry about your kidneys and your liver you know what I'm saying long term with the prescription pills and the fake ones the uh, street ones that stuff eat your kidneys and your liver up. Before you know it, you know, you walking around with a dog on, you know what I'm saying? And it may not happen overnight, but what, what you don't get is when you mix these pills with alcohol and other drugs, that one day is going to turn into two days, especially if you got some kind of mental issues going on already. They go bring you up. And then eventually it's going to bring you down. And a lot of people in my past experience, I got to the point where I, I was addicted to it. And it would bring me down. But when I started drinking with it, eventually, you know, as the night, you know, came to an end, I would crash. And it became a habit. One day turned into two, two turned into a week, and then a week, then a month. Now you got years. I think I've been on Xanax now almost two and a half years, three years. So when you mixing it with alcohol, you're gonna start having aches and pains when you try to stop and withdraw. You're gonna start having stomach aches. You're going to start getting insomnia real bad. You understand? You're going to start having very bad mood swings. You know? 
Some people had to check themselves into a clinic, a detox clinic, because of the withdrawals be so severe. So I want you guys to really take heed to this video. And if you're not prescribed to it, I know sometimes people say, well, I couldn't get a prescription because they really strict, so I had to get it from the streets. Yeah, I understand that because I've been there before. Also, I've been a teenager before. I used to, you know, pop pills when I was younger. I didn't have to. I just, it was an end thing, so I tried them. I didn't really get the effect. I really didn't get the effect that I get now. You understand? If I can go back, I wouldn't have done it. But, well, yeah, I wouldn't take that back. I don't, also, never regret, never regret anything you do in your past. Because that should be your wisdom. That should be... That, that that should be something like your resume that, you know, you know, in your book of life, that should be in your book that you should be able to write down and share with your kids or somebody else to help them. So never be ashamed of where you came from. Never be ashamed of what you went through. You'd be ashamed if you still doing the same thing that you did doggone 20, 30, 40 years ago. You understand? When you know it's not beneficial, that's a habit. Yeah, but, you know, you have habits, addictions, and then you just have, you know, people who just, you know, like that. And that's, that's, that's cool, you know, how they say some people, some people, and I'm all over the place right now, but sometimes some people just need that. Some people just need that, you know, to, you know, help them keep going. You know, everybody, everybody's, how can you say that, man, the word I'm looking for, you know, man? It's like everybody has, you know, let the, you know, let the, you know how the Bible speaks, paraphrasing, you know, drink and be merry, you know, drink and be merry for tomorrow we die, you know, paraphrasing. In certain places around the world, I can relate and I can see why they drink. I can see why they do drugs sometimes because the reality is so harsh that, man, even for a person who's just sanctified in the church about, you know, pray, pray nonstop, it's still hard to see the corruption, the crime, the poverty. It's hard. So sometimes we do need that, you know, smoke you a blunt or a joint or pop you a pill just to, you know, ease, ease your thoughts, ease your mind, ease your thoughts. So. I'm not being judgmental, you know, because like I said, I've, I've, I've seen the good and the bad in the world, trust me. I, I have seen it. And uh, especially really hard when you're trying to do the right thing, you're praying, you're trying to do the right thing, be a good person. But, you know, everybody around you is doing the opposite. So I just say that it's, it's your life. It's your life. You know how you feel. You know what's helping you and what's hindering you. I'm just a messenger here. I'm just telling my story. We just telling our story to help someone else out. But sometimes the doctor or the pharmacist or therapist, they can just give you advice and information and they don't have the wisdom because they haven't experienced it. So you need people who, you know, you, you need both, both sides, both sides of the story, two sides of every story. You need their side of the story, you need somebody who's physically been there and done it. You understand? And I tell you from the truth, from the horse's mouth, that if you're gonna take it, if you're gonna take Xanax, then you take it and follow the instructions. Because if you don't follow instructions, you will be headed to self-destruction sooner or later eventually you will be you will self-destruct and i hope it doesn't happen the same stuff i'm saying now i tell our boys and they're young five and eleven pretty much five and twelve and it's a crazy world that generation is way advanced you know uh way you know less compassionate less compassionate than our generation was so I have to teach them 
I had to teach them in advance. You got new drugs coming out that we ain't never heard of. You understand? You got this fentanyl. Then you got something even 50 times more potent than fentanyl. The fake pills. You got, you know, this, this, and that. So, I hope this video helps. And also, you taking Xanax? Any kind of anxiety, depression medicine, also, write, have your notebook down. Get you a notebook, a pen and pad, and write down what triggers your anxiety. Like my therapist told me, write down what triggers it. Is it people? Is it food? Is it doggone stuff you listening to? Something you watching? It's like some people who eat a chocolate bar. Some people are allergic to peanuts. They eat it, they break out, right? So... <laughs> <laughs> the same the same thing even me I'm lactose intolerant I can't drink milk mess my stomach up you know if you have a mental issue what whatever triggers it if you have depression and you watching these sad stories these sad movies and sad videos and you watching negative people the news and it makes you sad and depressed and that's creating more depression then you don't need to watch it do that make sense this is something that I should have told myself a while back I love watching the news but also I break down when I see what's going on in the world and that makes me sad now I get depressed now I want to drink you see what I'm saying <laughs> it makes sense bad no yeah so and that's what we do this is what we do. We 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 create our own world. Every, we create our own world every day with our minds, with our thoughts, what we watch, what we say, what we what we do. That's why I say every day is gonna be a great day. Every day is gonna be a great day. I speak what I want to see into existence every morning. Now it's up to me and the individuals around me to make that happened to bring that into existence you spoke on it now it's your part to make it happen to work to make it happen if you say today gonna be a bad day well you ain't got to do much you just stay in that kind of, you know you just don't do nothing don't cook don't clean just complain just you know <laughs> just do everything negativity is gonna happen naturally anyway you know you can't do man mankind people we normally do bad before we do good. We normally think negative before we think positive. So we have to reprogram our mind every day, renew our mind, like Romans say, we have to renew our minds every day with positivity to erase the negative. I hope this video helps. We got some more videos coming up. God's will, y'all subscribe and share this knowledge. And I hope this video helps and saves someone's life, man. Think before you do it. Think before you do it. It's bad, but somebody got it worse. Somebody always got it worse. So, great things are coming. Great things are coming. Love you guys. Stay safe out there.